Hi, John. Bob Heil. Hi, Bob. How nice are you? Nice to meet you, and congratulations on winning the contest. Thank you. Let's go inside the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and uh, see some of the things that they have on our display. I think you're a sound engineer. So you will enjoy some of the things we put together here. I started back in uh, about 67 or so. I started because of my ham radio background building little fuzz tones and things like that. And uh, then I got into building mixers. So the, the modular concept that I came up with was uh, quite innovative at the time for this gear. I hooked up with Joe Walsh, one of my ham radio buddies. He was gonna do the new band Barnstorm, but he wanted to do Rocky Mountain Way and he needed a talk box. We figured out how to take a big driver and build the, the talk box you see. That's serial number one. Then of course in 74, I gave one to, to uh, Peter Frampton for a Christmas present. Write the rest of that history. Brings back memories. <laughs> this is all hand, hand wired vector board. And we put it on tour with Chaka Khan to see how it's gonna hold up. I get a call in the middle of it from the Who. Peter Townsend inviting me to come over and talk to him. He had this idea about quad because quad sound was big right then for channel. And he wanted to know if I could build a sound system that we could move Roger's voice around the arena. So we came up with this idea of building the Quadrophenia system. That is actually one of the microphones that uh, that Roger used, it spun around all the time. That's why all the duct tape on it, because uh, the first time I worked with him, we lost a couple of microphones, and I'm going, wait a minute, because they would come off the connector and end out in the audience. So I said, aha, we'll fix that. <laughs> and so we put duct tape on it, and then I got into, we wrapped a cord around, and I put red on it so we could find it better in the lights. <laughs> But I remember when that used to happen, I used to yes. spike that thing so, uh, pretty aggressively. We, we fixed that. That was actually one of the rear channel speakers for Quadrophenia. Then we have a modular power amplifier. And the modular power amplifier allowed us, if something happened, we could unplug a side and plug in a new one. Again, we're, we're very honored to be a, a part of this great place and uh, I'm glad you could come and enjoy this, uh, the excitement of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Me and my wife are glad to be here. Thanks, John.